Okay. Where am I? Right here. No. Yes. That's where I am. Oh, I can actually use. No, I can't. It won't stink and work. Okay. Hey, Janet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in Oz. Hey, Linda. Oh, I'm a bit late. Sorry about that. I've been working on something, getting stuff ready. Shock horror. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Linda. Been a while. Hey, Lynn. I still can't zoom this camera in. I played around with the settings and everything. It's just, just telling me that it's because it's in use by Google Chrome. So, hmm. Oh, really? You can actually sit and talk in here while I'm not live? I didn't realise. <laughs> Excuse <clears throat> the voice <clears throat> and the coughs and all that. I'm still getting over the dreaded cold that Squiz gave me. So while we're waiting for a bit, let's put this aside and I'll show you. Oh, I love it. My um six by six inch stencil folder and I'm back the front am I oh no it's only just me <laughs> I've got a notification and talk it she run with it <laughs> I don't think I'll be too long here today because I want those um Eckersley's has got a sale on their um paint brushes and I have been meaning to get down there and get some so I thought yep going today Hey, Debbie. Ah, so this is it. Look how chunky it is. I love it. And it's got all, or most of, I think, pretty much all of my six by six inch um, stencils in here. And I have Coptic bound it which makes it so much easier to bind. Hey, Norma. And I th I tried to get them together um, such as like the um, manufacturers. So they were all Kaiser Craft in the, in the beginning. Of, I think I've got three blank ones. Hey, Karen. Yeah, where is Eileen? Oh, there she is. Hi, Eileen. Um, Simon says, damn, we've got one of those, the ring cluster. Love, love, love it. And then we've got some colour box. And I was going to put um, one in there, but it sort of hung out, so I'm going to leave that for another one. Um, Heidi Swap, Folk Art. Um, Few of those, they're not too bad actually. Folk art, clear scraps or clear snaps. I can never remember which one they are. Colorful life, no, no, I think I got that one from a magazine. Do you know you're public this time? Yes, I do, but I'm public on my other YouTube channel. Hi, um. Oh, uh, where are we? Do you know where it is? Who asked that question? I think it was Ali. Is Ali here? Yes. Ali gave you the wrong link. <laughs> yeah, I stream live and public on my other YouTube channel only because I just record um, special videos for the Aussie Green one. Oh, you're all waiting at the schedule stream room. Oh, okay, so that works. 8.30? Oh, they gave you a notification. Uh, 
they gave you a notification, but to say I'm streaming in 30 minutes, I think. Don't know. So I might put some white card stock behind those. And I've got some stencil girl stencils. And then from here onwards, it's all crafters workshop. <laughs> it's scheduled for 7.30. Well, it's got my Australian time zone in there. So who knows? I know Dot messaged me um, because, hey, Mindy. Um, do not follow Ellie's links. <laughs> I love it, Lynn. Um, it's so good. They're all in one place, those size anyway. I've yet to work out a better system for uh, um, my 12 by 12s. They're a pain. Okay, so when it says 8.30, Eileen, does it say that going live in 30 minutes? Oh, I had a countdown to 8.30. Oh, right, okay. I don't know. Hi, Da. I don't know. So... um. What I wanted to do was just to play around with some dilutions and other sprays, but I wanted them as a background. Now, for the life of me prior to yesterday, I, for some reason, and other people may think it was, oh, okay, well, I'll check that up for next week and see if I can't fix that, guys. Sorry. It, um, I did put 11 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard Time, so I don't know. They just don't know Australian time. Um, yeah, so I could never get anything on top of the sprays. Hey, Helen. Hey, Sandra. Um, any white or any other lighter colour without the sprays coming through. Now, I know people said spray fixatives on there. Well, yeah, I did, but only one or two. No one said you need to do multiple. It may have been obvious to some, but it wasn't to me, and it may not be to others. So, um... I have done this with some sprays this morning. I have quickly and out in the sun, yeah, we've got sun today, thank goodness, um, sprayed this with good old cheap home brand hairspray. Now, if you guys can get, and I think I've seen it because um, this is where I got the tip from on YouTube, you can get a strong hold, like a, a hair fixative. Um, oh, Ali, <laughs> still waiting for me. Right. Um, so if you can get a stronger one, that would be good, but I can I could only get this one. So, Karen, if you use sprays, this actually works. Home brand, Woolies Home Brand Hairspray. Because you can now, I think, fingers crossed, I have on, um, I'm working on another project, and where is it? Uh, hold on. I'll put it aside somewhere so I don't do anything with that. Now, I did this one, and I did five sprays, on this and after that overnight what I did was I it's still sticky I put a good layer of just fluid um, matte medium Liquitex matte medium over it and it didn't run at all or blend Oh, it tends to yellow over a year or two. Oh, 
Well, I wonder if you put a fixative over it like the matte medium, whether that helps. I might even do another coat of matte medium over this or if I can find some Liquitex clear gesso, um, I'd use it as well over it. I want to see how used to use it on your scrapbook. But see, for some reason, I only ever gave it one or two coats of fixative and that never did the job until I did the hairspray. Now I could probably pay a fortune and use 50 million layers. <laughs> it sounds like a mad scientist. I have been trying to get this right because I've been. Oh, okay, good. Thanks, Carrie Ann. Um, I've been, it's it's been eaten at me because I see others working on their sprayed backgrounds. I've got cords in the road here. And um, and it's never, it works for them, but it never worked for me. So it was paying me off. So I can't wait to work on this one. So I'm going to give another coat of um, matte medium. I'm going to have a look at Eckersley's today. So I got a sale on, um, and I'm going to try and get some clear gesso in the. Um, now I've had this outside because it's a bit breezy and had rocks on it. It's not shit All right. So I haven't done the matte medium on this yet. So let's see how it works, shall we? Um. Now. As I said, I know that it is probably not rocket science and nothing new to you guys, but it is to me. It's a big deal. That's gesso. I don't want to put gesso on it. You know what? I should put probably a um, a gel medium because it's thicker. Yes, thank you, Janet. I forgot all about that. I'll dig that out and I will go down and say, right, one of these get dropped a few months back. See, that's not running at all. Not a little bit. So I'm glad I'm using the, um, and it's probably because I didn't wait too long between coats of, um, of the hairspray, but not much, so. Going to let that dry. Hey, Marie. Okay, thanks, Kerry Ann. I haven't got it yet. Looked a bit slow today. There it is. Going to have a look. Oh, yeah, I've got to get to right art. Okay, so it's a matte spray permanent matte finish and it's pretty good carry in I find if this hairspray works it's a cheaper option for me oh <laughs> found me Marie okay so I'm just going to put this aside and what I'm going to do what am I going to do? Oh, I just, oh, that's a bit wet now from um, uh, gel medium. Oh, I confuse everyone, don't I? Okay, it's dry. Yep, that's dried all by itself. I'll let it dry. So what I wanted to do now is, because I like the look of how, um, it does come through in certain instances, not always. 99% of the time I prefer that I can have that vibrant background with the sprays and then have the white pop. Okay. A doc, I told you to go to bed. <laughs> Here she is, Megan, and she's probably laid up in bed watching with her earphones in. So Carrie Ann said she used it over a pencil pages, watercolour and on the covers of albums protects it all. All right, I bet it's pricey though. Uh, 
Okay. So what I thought I'd do is now, all right, ignoring Eileen, what colours should I use? Because I'm going to have them come through. We'll probably do circles because that's what I do. Debbie says it's different from you, String. You have to go to the live feed. I think that's in order to get into the chat, I'm thinking. So what's been happening? We've had Justin's birthday. We've had Amelia's birthday. We've had Cameron's birthday. We've had a lot of rain. Um, Squiz and I have both been sick. Cameron got the sack from his job. $14, but you get about 12 months out of it. Very good. And what, one or two sprays, Carrie Ann? Now, he got the sack because he hadn't completed his RSA course, which is the Responsible Service of Alcohol, because where he works or where he worked, um, they sold alcohol there, so he served customers. And there was a new manager come in and she was ruthless. <laughs> oh, well, since Eileen's the only one that's requested colours. I know, Janet. But, yep, yeah, I think it was a wake-up call. He's got to be more diligent and more responsible. So he's going for another interview this afternoon. You do one coat usually and two on my albums just in case. Okay, all right. Blue, green and purple, and that's Janet's suggestion, and Eileen wanted green, blue and orange. Okay, so do we do orange or do we do purple? They're darkish colours. All right. <sighs> okay. I love Heidi Swap. No, I had it out, I thought, earlier. Can't remember. Is it this one? I've sprayed all over it. Saffron, is it? No. I can't even see the name of it now. Well, that's Patina. That's a nice one. So is that. Oh, it's the same. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> Well, I think mm, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what. Now I've got some greens out here. I've got a, oh, poison jade, polished jade. God, I need my eyes tested again. I'll put the yellow away. Get some blues. Now I've got a few Lindy's blues, I think, brushes. A lighter ones. That's a nice one, the Tibetan poppy teal, and that one's the Asia Sea Asters. You spy Jen. No, that's actually my take on Janet's journal. <laughs> Duh. Something in those brownies, I think, Eileen thinks. So that's just that. And I've been um, when to use these for certain um, things that I'm practising. So with this one, I'm doing whimsical. Hi, Monique. Um, so that's what that is. Now if I got, I do have somewhere around here. What I did, I've done two pages in that one and I can't find where I put it. Hold on. So I'm loving the whimsical lately. Right. What I put on top of my stamps? Obviously not. Don't know where it is now. Could be anywhere. Squiz came down last night before he went to go to bed. He said, you really look after this room, don't you? I said, I need more bed space. <laughs> I didn't wet the bed. <laughs> what the heck have I done with it? I don't know. 
might find it later. All right, so we haven't decided yet what we're going to do blue, green and purple, blue, green and orange. Well, green and orange don't go that well together, so let's do a purple and I'm going to do a, a dark purple. That's an SEI um, purpley colour. I don't know what it is because it doesn't say. Um, and we've got a Lindy's. Witch's Potion Purple. That sounds good. No, not doing orange, Eileen. I could do a compromise and put some gold in amongst it, I think. Um, what's that? It's brown. Let's go to my Harvey Swap. I don't use purple a lot. There's some um, Heidi Swap Amethyst. Yeah, that's more of a ready purple. Um, I got a deep purple, but I don't like dark purple. But then that's a colour wash. All right, we've got a lot of colours here. So very similar purples there. Can't really see. Two suggested teal, purple, and pink. Now, teal, purple, and pink might be all right. Get rid of the green. Oh, there's an eyeliner there. Okay. Okay. So we have bubblegum pink. Bubblegum. Um, hot pink, which is pretty similar. So what is that? <laughs> no, no, no. What's this one? Heliotrope purple plum. Ooh. No. What's this one? Lindy's jazzy jive and purple. That'd be nice. Okay, I haven't got many pinks. But I can see. Hold on. Another pink here, but it's really bright. I haven't got any soft pinks. Hold on. I'm going to use that one. All right. No, that's more of a red. So hot pink. Okay. Great. Pissy pink and pukey purple. That's right. Blue, green, and orange do come out. We will have another go on a tag with that. Oh, Kerry Ann. Oops, there goes the chat for some reason. Sometimes it does that. I know, exactly. Me too, Janet. Orange anything freaks me out. Well, this is not a Denver Broncos album um, thing. All right, I'm just going to go for it. Let's start with the blues. I should put, ah, uh, that's still wet. Hold on. I should put some, um, have on the laptop. Um, I do have some more of these around, so I'll grab some, I think. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not a big fan of orange, unless it's with, like, um, pinks and yellows and it makes the orange then otherwise not really yeah, where have I got those oh found them okay they're in my fibs trolley okay And then probably one up here. <laughs> exactly, Debbie. Very fugly. 
All right. Get the phone out of the road too. Let's try. No, I'm not using green, but gee, that's pretty green. Am I using green? No, I'm not. I'm using blue, purple, and pink. Oh, where's my fave um, turquoise? No, it's not turquoise. Hold oh, on, because I love it. A vibrant turquoise. Okay. All right, let's start with the light blue. Here we go. Come my coffee, thank you. I'll get you out of the road too. Uh, I need stuff. I'll get something happy soon, I promise. Okay, out of the road. Okay. Okay. That was the Asia Sea Asters. All right. Um, and in amongst that, we'll put some hot pink. This is the hardy spot. This needs to go up further so you see. Oh, no, it's there. Okay. Don't look, Eileen. Whoops. Throw it away. Right, then we'll have some, hmm, let's do, th I think this is fairly dark, it doesn't look it, but when it comes out, I think it is, yeah, so you like it's dark. Maggie and the ferocious beast, no, nope, not here. It is a nice pink. It's made of a red magenta pink, okay. All right. Oh, now that is quite nice, that purple. I like it. Okay, that's where I was coming from. All right, let's put some dark. Uh, let's do the mm, vibrant turquoise first. Hi, Ange. Okay. Oh, come on, you can do it. I think Cameron's getting ready. All right, that's enough of that. And Dilution's Vibrant Turquoise. Now what I might do, now yeah, stuff it. Oh, hold on. I'm just going to dab up some of that spray that's going into the gutter. And over the edge, okay. All right. Okay. Now we'll do this purple. This is the colour wash purple twilight. It's going to be dark. Um, if it doesn't work, that's a good thing. If it doesn't work, so I'm not going to use that. All right. Let's bring in some of this um, witch's potion purple. <laughs> Actually, Eileen, I'm thinking, turn the page, I'm thinking of, whoa, that nozzle's pretty crappy. Yep. Okay. I'm going to come back with some, oh, no, I'm not, not yet. Oh, oh. All right, what's this one? This is the... Jazz and Jive and Purple. Okay. All right. I don't think it's going to work. No, I didn't think so by the feel of Oh. And I've got to go shopping after this. I should have put some gloves on. I should have, could have. Could have, but didn't. Oh, there goes the chat again. I must be um, hitting the mouse. Um, right, come on, you can do this. Let's get the baby wipe onto it. 
unscrew it. Yeah, I did that, didn't I? Okay, screw it back up and then try it again. Oh, that's nice. Okay, a bit dark. It's looking very dark now, so I'm going to have to come back in with some um, lighter colour. Did I use that one? Tibetan poppy teal? Can't remember, or couldn't I get that one to work? Oh, nice. Okay, and we've got Funky Fuchsia. Pretty page right there. It needs brightening up a bit. Um, and I haven't done the bubble gum, I don't think, or did I? I can't remember. We'll do it again, though. Okay. Now I'm going to put a paper towel over that, I think. Oh, just to sop up a lot of it and get some texture in there too from the paper towel. Looking pretty good actually. But I do want it to lighten it up a bit. And I'm going to use this um, um, Asia CS's. That's probably darkened it. So let's do this again. And you know what I should do? I should get some rubbing alcohol, which I've got on my desk because that's what I did with this one I used. Once I'd um, sprayed it, I used rubbing alcohol on it, dropped it. Bye, Lynn. Okay. And that will give it some depth and dimension as well. Ooh, loving how that texture is looking. Okay. Right. Yeah, I know, Janet. With that, um, um, thinking heck. Napkin, paper towel, it gives it really good texture. All right, I can't find my pipettes or my um, dropper, so this is all I'm going to do. Try. Get high on the fumes. All right, there we go. Probably went a bit overboard, but there we go. Hey, CB. Okay, now it's taking on a look of its own. Yeah, I love what the alcohol in uh, the alcohol in the um. Let's put that on the rubbing alcohol does to it. It does look a bit like bubbles. Now I'm going to get some more paper towel. I'll just dab off again and it's sort of scrunch it so it's got some different texture. So that's brightened it up no end, which is good because we don't want anything too dark. Okay. A little bit, Janet. 
the spots look like amoebas in a um what do you say? Yeah, microscope, that's the word. All right. So I'll let that dry a little bit before I put the heat gun on it because it is alcohol. Well, it might all blow up. Oh, I might blow up. All right, what I'm going to do is take these pages out so you can see the full effect of it there and bring it up a bit closer. Boom. Try and get this that way. And uh, this mirror is hard. Doesn't that look cool? Okay. Now what? What I'm going to do now, I think, is dry this completely while this sort of dries a bit. And this is the one that, oh, where am I going to put this? This tag. Oh is the one that I put, I'm going to have to hate it, um, that I put five or six sprays of hairspray on it and then we just um, covered it with some gel medium. So noise pollution. <laughs> covered in black. Yes, I mean. Okay, so for those that didn't come, uh, weren't here when I um, mentioned it, I sprayed this with sprays, dropped some rubbing alcohol on it, let it dry, and then sprayed five or six layers of hairspray, then a coat of, and that's after drying time of each coat, and then um, some gel medium. So I'm hoping that I can use white and other colours over this and it won't come through. Thanks, Amy. Okay. Now, so I, I see a couple of balloons in there, but stuff the balloons. Let's do balls because you know balls are, are a good thing. Circles. So I will grab my faithful cosmic bubbles stencil. Yeah, maybe no, over there. Thanks, Ange. Okay. So what am I going to use to draw the circles? I think maybe a white marker. Oh, that's what I want to do too is get some more markers down the street. My magazines to so, sew, uh, which I'll put on my list. Yes, I have a list. I'll best plug this in. Um, markers done. Okay. Right. Let's see. Oh, you're going to even write on it. Do you even write? All right, that one's not working. Hold on, let me get. Did I have some here? I did. Hold on. Let's try this one. Maybe we try a thicker one. Oh. 
All right. Well, let's try. Let's, oh. let's try this. Um, Ink Essentials Opaque Pen. Oh, is that why, Janet? Why did I do that then? Well, that's not going to help me, is it? It may not write on the alcohol. I may need, that's what I've got to write down. Clear gesso, Liquitex clear gesso, I hope. Because I have clear gesso here, but it's a crap brand. Okay, what about if I put, yeah, I've got a Posca, but they're all run out. That's why I've got to get some today. Hold on. Okay, I've got a Sharpie paint pen. And I've got Posca. One of those. Hang on. Let's try a different one. Oh, I need a thicker one. Hold on. Oh, what's this one? Oh, that's a brush pen. Is that black? Yeah. Okay, we don't want that. All right. I covered it with gel medium, yeah, and I'm just wondering whether I need to put some... Um, Gesso on it. See, this is all a learning thing. See, this one doesn't want to work either. All right, let's go get the pasta. Okay, the pasta paint pen. Sort of works, but still he's bringing up that stinking colour. Hold on. Why did I lift that up? I have no idea. Okay. I think the next step is to add... Oh, probably should have let that dry for a lot longer is add clear gesso. I'm not happy, Jan. i try the paint in a minute. Let's see if it um, brings up any of the colour. I think this is still a bit sort of damp. But anyway, I'll try. Still looks fairly vivid, fairly bright. Oh. So let's get some um, gesso in there. Right. Palette. Actually, should we, I think, instead of doing that, I reckon we put black around it and leave the, the green in amongst there. So if that's the case, I need to do another circle in here. But you know how I love my black. And this green, these greens are... So yummy. That black. Oh. All right. I think that's what I'm going to do. Brush. Okay. Thanks, Dorothy. Okay. I still want to try to 
put the white on there. So what I'm going to do, yeah, I might do white on one side and black on the other. Okay. Sort of just not sure even right. Sounds like Cameron's getting ready to go to his job interview. Which don't let me forget to tell him when he does come in to say he's off. Um, he needs to take, ah, not over there, you silly girl. Let's be instead of keys because I'm going out too. Oh, that would be a package. You got that, Cameron, or not? Maybe not. Okay, be right back. Guys, that was the um, package that I got that I ordered. Um, oh, silly girl. I ordered um, some hand fans to have sitting on the seats at Christie's wedding in case it's hot. And um, they've just arrived, so... I'll show you them in a minute. I can't wait to see them myself. She's not having a white dress. It's like a, a creamy colour. So I was looking for white lacy um, fans at first, but then when she came home with the dress, I had to change my search. Mandy's done the invitations, I think. She's um, done all the labels to get them out. Thank goodness. Okay, night, Sandra. Um, okay. Might just go all the way over there. So I stuck that up. Yeah, so I've yet to find the mason jars. While I'm out today, I might have a look. I don't know yet. 
I just want to get home and play. It all depends on what I get at Eckersley's. Yeah, that rubbing alcohol really did make the difference, didn't it? it um, it's not real good to paint over either. Even with the black, you can see the brush strokes in there. But I shall see what the white looks like in a second. So anyhow, I might need a couple of coats. So I won't spread it all around because I'm going to stuff it like I just did there. Oh, so much better, CB. If anyone's listened to um, my latest videos on YouTube, it was just awful. Need another brush for the white. Um, Amelia is so much better. She's able. She had... Um, a birthday dinner last night and she wanted KFC, a bucket of KFC chicken. <laughs> so she's well and truly on the mend. I had them here yesterday afternoon after school and um, she looks and sounds. Yesterday was her first day at school, so um, she got well enough for her birthday. Wish they'd take the tonsils out. I really do. Look at that. That's going on brilliantly. And it's staying white. So far. Give it time. Amelia had um, what started out to be just a um, oh, what do they call it? Hang on, what's going on? Let's see, Mandy, where are you? She had the flu, she had tonsillitis, her eyes were red, raw and weeping, so she had to give a clarentine for that. Um, so she had to get penicillin for the tonsillitis. She said it all, the doctor said it all probably started out as a viral infection and now it, then it became the um, bacterial infection. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they so do, CB. Yeah, so she got better for her birthday, though. Yeah. Um, Mandy, luckily, because Mandy works nine to five, four days a week, um, she doesn't work Tuesdays and she was busy on the Tuesday. She had to get Christy's... Um, invitations done and sent out and that so but monday night maybe got um what we have is a doctor to your door which is bulk billed if they arrive before midnight um otherwise you pay through the nose but um so mandy still had to go down after the doctor's visit into newcastle to get the um script filled some of this is coming through but mostly not more down here that's pure white up there so i don't know why that is um my eldest daughter cameron's mother ali is getting married in september This is the second marriage. Okay. 
almost there. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> I don't know why. Um, don't know what the difference is down here. Why the um the colours coming through down the bottom, but it's pure white up the top. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Jarek really is, yes. Yep, you did. TB, you met him. And he's been um, organising a lot of the um, wedding. He's organised the um, I might go around these in black. He's organised the music oh, for the ceremony. They're just having a couple of violinists, I think. Um, and just he's just going to have a, um, an iPod at the for the um, reception. Um, he's organised the photographer. Uh, both he and Christy have organised the catering. Um, Derek's organised the what else? The horse and carriage, I think. Um, they've both organised the accommodation because it's at the vineyards. And we live about forty minutes away from a beautiful area called Colburn, which has hundreds of vineyards there. Okay, Dorothy. <laughs> I think it's organised the florist. Well, I had a, um, while Christy and Mandy were looking out shopping for the dresses, bridesmaids' dresses, and Christy's, um, Jarek and I sat here at the back and, um, Googled a lot of things and flowers was one of them and he wanted lilies. So I thought Aram lilies were or colour lilies were pretty, but they look even prettier with Lily of the Valley um, accented flowers as well as um, the greenery ivy. I love the ivy. And it's going to be a cascading. Um, so cascading um and that's gone to crap. I'll get me um brush pen. I need to put my laundry on the line. I washed all the towels and then I've got to do the bed linen yet. Okay. Brush, a white brush pen would have been the go. All right, now I've got a thicker white in the Costco, which works pretty good. So I might just go. Oh, okay, good luck. Hi, right, listen, take it. Spare set of keys, the spare set of keys, because I might not be here when you come back. Oh, you I'll be out shopping. Oh, okay. Okay. Show me in a minute what it's doing, and I'm I'm not impressed with um, the way that colour's coming through, even with five coats of the hairspray and a coat of gel medium. So I'm going to have to go over it again. 
once it's dry, I'm trying to do it a bit more. I don't like how I've got this down here, so what am I going to do? Okay, it? Actually, I probably should have done that with black all the way around there and then I'll do some white dots over it. So, I'll do that. I need a bit of black. All this work is it really worth it? That's not bigger. That's a simple one. I'm actually using gesso island, but I'll use a heavier gesso. That's just the um fluid gesso from Liquitex. Oh, that's great. Silly Millie stuff that up in mind. Um, that's just a fluid gesso, so I think I'll try and use, oh, what about that other, where did it go, um, that black marker thing, that might be the go, um, yeah, so I'll use the Finnebear Art Basics, um, gesso and see if that makes a difference, Eileen. That's uh, better. I like this. This is a Eco Line brush pen. For US only. Right. Right. That's better. Yep. Go and do that. I'm amazed it's still coming through. And that's been my bugbear right from the word go. And I thought I really had it. But what I'm going to do is try and um, find, I'm going to try that um, fixative that Carrie Ann suggested. Um, where's my basics, Jesso? Okay. I had it the other day, I thought. Golden gesso, no. Where is it? Is it still on my desk? No, can't see it. Doesn't mean anything. Okay, well, oh, I've got it. Okay, so but heavy gesso. Okay, let's just grab some out with a. Um, oh, this trolley. So heavy, I'm just going to have to grab some out. Okay, and get another brush. I've like moved it. <laughs> All right. Let's see how we go here. No, nope. still coming through this. Mmm, so and so. Why? I'd like to know why. It shouldn't come through. At the top here is the oh, it's a little bit blue, but it's more white than anything. I know, now you get where I'm coming from. How the heck do people do it? It's got me beat. See, it's still coming through. Hmm. 
What am I doing wrong? Honestly, what? Does it work for anyone else or is it? Well, you guys have the same issue. From what I've read, you guys are fine with it. Ha, Jilly and I, yeah, I love the calla lilies. So I've got to get the mason jars from somewhere and make some wedding favours. I've got to do some tags and get some twine. See, look at it. Just look at it. Uh, how many times I've gone over that? So the only other option that's becoming more, like bluer the more I work it, I think. So I'm still coming through all the way around. And it's paying me off. What am I doing wrong, people? Oh, this mirroring is awful. See? I wonder if you gesso first, then use the sprays and then the hairspray. That's what I did, Eileen. I've gessoed first. Oh, okay. So gesso, then do the sprays. Hmm, okay. Yep. I'm trying to locate a, uh, but look at the black there. See how the lines are, and I think that's from the, um, you can't see, or I can't see, the lines from the brushes, and I think it's because of the, um, I think it's because of the stinking rubbing alcohol. So next one, I'm not going to use rubbing alcohol. And see if that makes a difference. But yeah, like you mean after this now, Eileen, I'd put some, um, spray some more um, fixative on it, get a decent clear gesso and put that on as well, I reckon. Well, I'm going to try it because it's really paying me off. That's the reason, the whole reason I don't use my sprays is because I can't work on top of them. Ah, but what, when it's dry, Debbie, does rubbing alcohol eat through gel medium when it's dry? Like, you know, how it dries quickly, it doesn't, it's alcohol, so it shouldn't react. But look what I've just done there. It's that thick with gunk on it. It's peeling up because I've put my big hand on it. Hmm. I reckon those need black around and those white circles. Uh, I don't know, Debbie, because anyway, it's really paying me off. But let's go back to this one, the journal, where I've put the, al the rubbing alcohol on it too. But all I'm going to do is probably go in and do some circles and... Go over. I'm not going to do too many. I think what I might do is just do them across the centre of the page, centre-ish of the page. Okay. Oh. 
probably should be doing that in white then, Jen, if I'm going to be stinking painting it white. But alcohol dries completely. I don't think once. Um, yeah, it is white. I think it needs... No, it, it, once it's dry, it's dry, isn't it? Nothing will do anything to it, I don't even think. Whew, 50 bucks. For what? Is that for that um, spray you put me on to carry in? If it works, I'm all for it because I've got all these sprays that I can't use. Because... You know, I can't do anything over the top of them except use black. What do you do? Look at that. That's not even working now. I'll track an international package, yeah. No, I wouldn't go there. Oh, it's not that one. It's been that one. That one. So it's going to look pretty if I ever get the stick and white to work. Uh, all right, let's just do big circles and try. Oh, for sake. This is paying me off. It really is. It's that stinking rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to have to do black. I didn't want to, but I'm going to have to. I will. Even if I get... Yeah, and you're going to run on me too, aren't you? Okay, let me go for it. Yeah. I'm just not having a good day, am I? All right. Let's do that and let's go to town with the gesso. Hey, Josie. Right. So I'll grab, I'll do the um, heavy, heavy gesso. This is going to come through and that's fine. I, I understand that. I understand that it's going to come through, and that's fine. It's when I don't want it to come through that's the annoying part. Okay, I'm going to need a bit more than that. Where did that go? I don't know. Oh, right here. Okay, I'm probably going to need a bit. Okay, here we go.
fait. And I'll come in there in a minute with some smaller, oh, I'll come over that one, okay. Smaller brushes. I'll probably put too much um, gesso out. Back to you in a minute. Get a small brush. Use my angle brush. That's all I need. That'll be right. I'll try and clean it off. Not going to come off, is it? <laughs> oh well. Let's try it. Get rid of these now. Okay. Yeah, it's still black on the stinking thing. Okay. Mm. It's just up in that um, little container bit. So. Clean baby white and just try and get any trace of that black. You were so confused, Josie. Which one? Oh, the one where the um, dragonfly is, where I went layer upon layer upon layer, and in the end ended up covering the whole stinking layers up, and you can't see one of the layers once it's complete. Yep. I'd be confused too, Josie. I don't know what I was thinking. I only blame it on my sickness. Right. So you know what the gesso is going to do, what the sprays are going to do once you go over them. So that doesn't get me upset because I know what's going to happen. But when I try, to do what others have done before me and it don't work, it pays me off to no end. And I would just like to know what the heck I'm doing wrong. Obviously I'm doing something wrong.
Being an online telling me what to do, I still can't get it to do. What everyone knows is possible. So the only thing I can do next time is not use um, rubbing alcohol, but also I think do a few coats of gel medium and a um, even a couple of coats of clear gesso. So yeah. Oh, if I were to go all the way down there, didn't I do a? Didn't do a stinking circle there. Okay. But that looks pretty. But you know, it's a background, really. I want to be able to do lots of other things over the top of this and not just use black. Oh. Right. I think I want to do another coat of gesso over that because it's not really separating them as much as I'd like. So. This one back. Since I've got the gesso out anyway. Going over very thick now and see if that makes a difference. You shouldn't have to do it. It'll never stinking dry. Yeah, no, my circles are nice. But it's just that I'd like to differentiate them somehow, separate them from the background and uh, it just won't let me do it. It could be a heavy page, that's for sure. Just, oh, I just don't know what to do anymore. It just seems to be a waste of gesso to me putting this amount on it just to get the whiteness. Mm. 
but it'll come back through. No, you worry because it comes through um, <sighs> texture paste and that. So you know what? I reckon I just go in with yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Some black. I'm going to go around those once that's <laughs> once it's dry. It's going to take forever to dry. All right, noise pollution for a while. Because I'm going to go in with some black um, portfolios and see what we get around the circles. Okay, I've got to put this back. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to do it otherwise it's going to contaminate it. Okay. <laughs> I just read what Eileen said. I'm just going to go and see what Ange says. Oh, noise. <laughs> Just trying to move some of the clumpiness. Oh, okay. Turn to plastic now. Obviously. That's probably nowhere near dry enough, but you know what? It may help. Hang on, I'll finally pull the folios. Oh. Okay. Now, I might, instead of using a black, I think I'm going to use my favorite Prussian blue. If I can find it. Blue violet might be all right. Maybe. Let's try the blue violet. Because they're the colours we've got in there. All right. Yeah, but, ugh. Fingerprints in it and all now. Let's start here. Okay. Actually, it was a good idea to use the blue violet, I think. Abishaz, she what? Streaming. 
Okay. Are you streaming? Yes. She knows I do. on the inside there but that's all right nothing else has worked today so why would that it's all right it's all a learning curve <laughs> I will, Phoebe. Which one was? Oh, she cooked the, um, she made the chicken Caesar salad, didn't she? Yeah, from scratch. Made her own sauce, made her own croutons. Didn't make her own chicken, but, you know. Can't be good at everything. Yeah, they're not my usual colours, Carrie Ann, but they are pretty. But really, there's not a lot to this page. Like, do you put a quote on it? Do you put anything else on it? I don't know. It's it just doesn't look finished to me. Oh, I've lost the chat again. There we go. <laughs> Why is Eileen doing that? I can't see. Yeah, she's not speaking. Oh, there we go. Yeah, she's not speaking, so she must be busy doing something. And you need to go all the way up there for that. Okay. Yeah, something's still wet down there. Obviously, because it's so stinking thick. And I'm wondering, do I try to go down even further? Oh, no, Jen. Don't be silly. Leave things alone. That's still fairly wet there. Okay. Okay. Which is that way. And I probably should and I will if I can find a um, cotton bud, but found them. And I'll try and get in those areas. Oh, in here that aren't closed. Need to be a bit darker. I just don't want to go within the circles. That's all. Maybe I go around those too. Do I? Is that going to be too much? If I sort of go around them, I don't do it. Oh, 
I'm doing it. Okay, <clears throat> let's chain stuff it. Okay. Okay, yeah, true carrying because they're such like few layers and I tend to go overboard with the layers and that's why I probably think that it's not quite finished. But, you know, there's not a lot to it. Ugh, there goes my fingerprint again. That ain't dry. I probably put my elbow in it. I was um, working last night. Thanks, Debbie. Um, in my dressing gown because it was a bit cool down here. I squiz still hasn't um, finished the second room, so therefore I can't use the air conditioning for the heating down here because he still hasn't hung the door to the garage either. So it's still quite cool down here. Anyway, it's in the wash now. Because i got paint and crap everywhere on it. That looks a bit messy here. A little bit better. Not all of them have black lines. Some have got the white, some have got pretty much no lines. But there, I think, I think it's done. As much as I'm going to do to it anyway because it didn't do what I wanted it to do. I do, Debbie. This is what these are now. Oh, and it's not a robe. But, yeah, I need a, um, a robe as such, like a... A, a thing, well, see, that's the thing. I'm cold down here and I need it. Um, well, it needs replacing anyway, but it's too bulky. I need a smaller one. All right, do we need splats? It needs a mermaid and <laughs> a whale. <laughs> see, me? If the stinking white would work over the top of it, I'd give it some highlights. Um, okay. It's still very wet, so there's not a lot I can do to it. Um, and because the circles are spreading out, I don't think it should have a border. So we could give it a... something here uh, uh, come on Be open to whatever comes next. <laughs> Focus on what's important. Use one of those at top left and second on bottom right. One of these. Okay, put it up there or there. Yeah, I'm thinking down the bottom right, Debbie. 
And I think be open to whatever comes next. Hold tight and pretend it's plain. <laughs> let it go. Maybe let it go. And I think I want the white. Trust your crazy ideas. Well, they never freaking work. I think um, which one do I say? Can't remember now. We'll yeah, be open to whatever comes next. That's going to do it. Whether it's going to, they're not even coming up. Jeez Louise, it's not my day, is it? Going to need some gel medium for that. Just crap. Hold on. I want it down here. I might as well just stick it in the paint. It's still wet. Oh, that's just like you flip. Oh, well. Need. Gel medium. I didn't put it back, surely. I know I didn't. I must have. That needs glue now. I could find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Chill medium. I must have put it back. That's a time. It's only 10 to 1. I've got time before school comes out to get down there and back. And it's Friday afternoon, so we've got um, tradie traffic on the way back, so that doesn't work out right now. Stick a neck. What a day. And you stayed up for this, Doc? All right, where is it? It's going to be interesting to see once I put a coat of Clear gesso on that, whether that comes through. I'll let you know if I can find my stinking gel meat. Oh, God. All right. It's all right. Eileen didn't take it. And I'll um, go around that with some... Um, of the stinking portfolios once it eventually dries. All right. I think that's going to have to do me. I can't wait to see. I wonder where is it? Where is it? Okay, it's underneath everything. So going to put some hairspray, a few coats of hairspray on that and some clear gesso. <coughs> and um, and then have another go with the gesso. So I will tweak pictures of how they are now and after I do what I'm about to do. Okay, so sorry it wasn't green, Eileen, or orange, but I pretty much love the colours that we did choose. 
before and after, yep. So I will, I'm definitely going to spray over this again. I'm still determined. Hmm. All right, got to go. Thank you so much for hanging in with me, guys. And even though it was a disappointing stream for me, I would love any ideas on what else I could do with this next thing that I do doesn't work. No, not what I wanted, CB, and it is pretty, but <laughs> you know. Anyway, actually, this is the one I didn't. Um, spray so that's okay it's this one that I had the issue with so we'll work on it stupid 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 chat jail <laughs> Ange. all right thanks guys have a good day Carrie Ann and good night to everyone else bye